Good evening. Thanks for your company. We begin tonight with something most people with a home loan rarely get, good news. It's the new fighting fund set up to ease the pain of mortgage stress and to help families struggling with debt. Damien Hansen has more on the home loan fight back. With the business going under, there was... Um, sorry, I just can't do this. When you've got your four-year-old coming up and giving you money because you've got to pay bills, just mm. gut wrenching. Settle down. What would it mean to have all that just sorted out? It's everything would be so much easier, you know. If you can be making $16 billion a year in profit, what is $10,000 to you when it's our life? Yeah, that's all it is. Yes, you save your things. Their ordinary family is fighting an extraordinary battle just to survive. We just found it harder and harder, you know, to be able to pay the payments. Tonight, the audacious plan to stop the fight of foreclosures. In a moment, we'll exclusively reveal the Fight Back Fund, where genuine families can receive money to clear up their arrears and keep their homes, interest-free and no repayments. This is a crusade to keep Australian families in their homes. You work 18 hour a day, seven days a week to try and get it up and running and you know, trying to make sure the income's coming in. When Shane Williams' home handyman business went bust, life took an unexpected turn for his wife Ellen and their young family. Yeah. Absolutely gut-wrenching. Yeah, yeah, it was awful. A lot of sleepless yeah. nights. The couple started falling behind in their Commonwealth Bank mortgage. The surprise arrival of their youngest daughter only put more strain on the family's finances. We were under the assumption that, that the hardship agreement payment that they had set for us was that the remainder of our mortgage was just going to get tacked on to the actual loan figure. But it wasn't. They spiralled further into debt. When they said, oh, we're going to give you one more hardship arrangement and then we're going to start foreclosure process, we went, what? What are you talking about, foreclosure? And they said, oh, you're $16,500 in arrears. When the Williams changed houses, instead of transferring the loan, their bank slugged them $16,000 for a new one. And now the bank won't extend their loan term to give them the breathing space they need. But today, at least, there's some good news. Come. Yeah. Oh, Trey. Oh, hi. G'day. How are you guys? Good. How are you? I'm Wayne from Refund. They don't know it yet, but their life is about to change. So what we're going to do is we're going to fix up the series. We're going to pay it down over the next six months for you and then put you back on an even keel. Thanks, Wayne. Can I cut with you? <laughs> I'm a hugger. <laughs> Thank you so much. No, don't stress about it. This bank is taking you for a ride. These people have worked so hard, they're not getting, they're not even being given a chance really. And uh, this bank could have made this so simple by extending the term of the loan and they haven't done it. We need uh, the big end of town to support this. It makes so much sense because when somebody loses their home, it affects their life forever. It's a big gesture from a big man. Wayne Ormond, the chairman and founder of Refund Home Loans, is creating a fighting fund. What its charter will be is to save people that uh, it might only take a small uh, donation, small grant to them of five, ten thousand dollars to stop the bank taking their house. It has the potential to stop thousands of foreclosures and help people like Anne Marie Stewart and her family. Um, things sort of started getting spiralled out of control then, um, we ended up roughly about seven to $9,000 behind. Anne-Marie, husband Darren and family call Lilydale in Melbourne's North East home. I just couldn't imagine ever living anywhere else. The family mortgage is $22,000 in arrears. Their small roofing business didn't survive. She has $10,000 in her super, but it's still not enough. You know, t times were tough. The winter came with all the rain and my husband couldn't you know, roof. He couldn't get on the roof, which made life difficult. The family had next to no income for six months, but they never stopped paying their mortgage, but they often fell short. And then we did get a bit of money, we'd put it to the mortgage, but it just went to interest. Because of the mounting debt, Darren's gone back on an apprenticeship. 
So my wage is going straight into the straight into the, uh, the mortgage there. Instead of extending their loan by three years, the ANZ Bank passed the Stewarts' file to their lawyers, making it impossible for them ever to get ahead. Like the Williams, they have plenty of equity, but now have $1,500 a month in legal fees, on top of a $400 a week mortgage. I have to have $12,000. Or what happens? Or they foreclose on the home and they come and take, they take our home. When's the deadline? When do you have to come up with this money? The 30th, which is tomorrow. Is it going to happen? No, unfortunately not. Well, I think it might. We've got someone here that might be able to help you. Hello, oh, Henry. How are you? Mm -hmm. Mike, Mike. Oh, I know who you are. Okay. Thank you. Oh, my God. So let's, let's talk about what we can do to fix this, because what we'll do um, is we'll pay up the difference between the arrears and the... Um, yeah. Just take a minute. Oh, I'm just trying to do this. Oh, Every family we save uh, means that they can stay in their home and let me tell you, the alternative is not worth thinking about. Sorry. All right, well, I know you have to get back to work, so let's, yep. let's walk around this way and maybe have a chat. How are you? What's going on? You're not going to lose your home. You're kidding me. Mate, thanks. No worries. Mate, thanks. This is why we need this fighting fund. Look at Darren and Marie. Prime example where the bank has gone really hard on them for no reason and just that little bit of money that we're able to give and look at the difference it's made. Stay tuned. Uh, more to come, maybe. Absolutely. Absolutely stay tuned because there's a lot more to come. Uh, we've just started on this crusade. Lights will guide